Review Discuss Win goes uptown with offerings from Air Arms, JSB, Splatterburst Targets, and Sports Match Rings UK. Don't go away. Alright guys, this is the Air Arms Galahad Carbine HR. Now the carbine means that this is the shorter version of the two. There's also a longer one available that will give you a little bit better shot count at the expense of some weight and maneuverability. The H standing for high power and the R meaning regulated version. Now the Galahad comes to us all the way from the United Kingdom. In the carbine it is just 32 inches long. Shoot ready, it weighs 11.4 pounds to include a scope, mounts, a cylinder filled with air, and a magazine full of lead. It's available in 177, 22, and 25, although I believe we're just importing the 22 to the States right now. It has a couple of different stock configurations. This one here, the black soft touch synthetic and a walnut. It has a five way power selector, ships with two 10 shot rotary magazines and can be had for about 1500 bucks. Now, the Galahad is a bullpup, which means the action's in the rear here, which brings the center of weight very close to the shooter, making the gun feel very light and maneuverable in hand. This one takes advantage of a fully shrouded Lothar Walther barrel and a Q-Tex silencer to make the gun very quiet and accurate. Its compact air reservoir is refillable to 250 bar, which will give you 30 to 60 good shots depending on where you are with the power wheel before it falls off that regulator at about 135 bar. Power on full burn comes in at around 29 foot-pounds of energy which it accomplishes by pushing an 18 grain pellet to about 840 feet per second. Now some other nice features about the Galahad are its dual stage match grade fully adjustable trigger that has the safety integrated right into the side of the blade for you. On the back of the gun is a nice rubber butt pad that is adjustable for both height and cant, so you can get very comfortable with this gun. On the bottom is a nice integrated accessory rail, so you can mount things like bipods, lasers, and flashlights. And on top of the gun is a very cleverly placed bubble level, which is always in line with the eye of the shooter to help him or her take cant out of their shot to make sure you will stay on target for long distance shooting. But one of the coolest things about the Galahad is this right here. This is Air Arms' brand new paddle cocking lever, which enables the shooter to stay on the gun while they're cycling the magazine. It can be safely decocked and it is even very easily switched to the other side for lefties. But uh, yeah, very excited about this one guys, so let's get to it. Cycling the Galahad's cocking lever at first was a little awkward and took some getting used to. But as with all things new, time and motor memory made it second nature. The movement is smooth and moderately weighted, with all clicks and engagements being what you'd expect out of air arms. The stock feels muscular and distinctively organic, and will be most appreciated by shooters with larger hands. Its skin is velvety smooth and grippy and does well to complement the high level of finish in this rifle. It's on par with the very best in the industry. Trigger function and shot cycle are especially free of harmonics, almost as if the Galahad's been wrapped in a bed pillow. Whatever they're doing, it's hard to argue with the results. And just look how substantial this thing is with its clothes off.
One of y'all is going to win a hell of a gun. I tried every pellet under the sun out to 25 yards. And these 10 shot groups shared on Facebook a while back will give you a good idea of what she likes. You can follow us there to see what I'm up to day to day, and to check out some of the process leading up to video day. There's an endless amount of power setting and pellet combinations for you to play with if you're going to own a rifle like this. I found the Galahad's power selector to smoothly click into position, and to be easy to use. It was especially helpful when trying to match the velocity to the pellet you wanted to make work with it. And generally speaking, a lower power level did equate into more usable shots. But it wasn't perfectly linear in its response, and is probably best utilized inside of 25 yards, and in situations where you're comfortable compromising some accuracy for some reduced power and noise. Refilling the Galahad's onboard reservoir couldn't be easier. Just take the dust cover and slide it forward to expose the fill port. Then take the provided fill probe and insert it into the fill port. Slowly fill the gun to no more than 250 bar and once again once pressure drops to 135 bar. Once you've bled all the air in your system, just remove the fill probe and close the cover. It's that easy. The shrouded and Q-Tex silenced barrel is very quiet, even on max power. And remember, adjustable power output also means adjustable noise output.
All right, guys, now the trigger on the Galahad HR is very nice. And for me, at least, didn't display any kind of unwanted bullpup tendencies. But it did arrive from the factory with a rather heavy first stage take up and a really light second stage brake. Now, fortunately, because it's so adjustable, it was really easy for me to go in there and lighten up that first stage travel, add a little bit of weight to that second stage let off. And once I did, got it just the way I want it. And now it is phenomenal. That blade integrated safety flicks off super easily. First stage take up is short, light, and comes up against a nice hard stop. And with just a little bit more pressure and no roll whatsoever, she'll let off for you. One pound, 14 ounces. Pushing an 18 grain pellet 100 yards in the wind does take a lot of focus, yes, but guns like this make it look easy. The combination of Lothar Walther barrel, match trigger, and proven air arms action all contribute, as does ammunition, optics, and rings. I did mention that these sports match rings go to the winner as well. Didn't I? They're valued at over $100 a set and it's gonna be awfully tough to beat their precision and quality. Just do me a favor and pipe up in the comments and on Air Gun Nation. We're in this together and I'm counting on you to carry the mail. Well, that's all for today, guys. Please, if you liked what you saw here and you want to encourage us to make more videos like it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, tell your friends about us, and be sure and check us out on Facebook for behind the scenes pictures and information leading up to video day. I'll share things there that won't make it onto YouTube and you won't want to miss out. Now remember, this is an episode of Review Discuss Win. So from here, you want to head on over to the Air Gun Nation forum so you can participate in the contest and giveaway on the Air Arms Galahad. I'll leave you a link in the description down below on how to get there. Now before we go, I just want to take a minute and personally thank Pyramid Air, Air Arms, JSB Predator International, Splatterburst Targets, H&N Sport, and Sports Match Rings UK. Without these guys getting behind our channel, none of this would have been possible and you guys know the best way to thank them. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. I really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Good luck, everyone.